Hey Aries, how's it going? Welcome back. And for those of you that are new, my name is Sam. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm grateful you're here. We are going to get into your love reading. Take what resonates. This is not a one-to-one one reading, so always head over and watch your rising, your moon, and your Venus placement sign readings for additional clarity. And just quick reminder, I'm giving away three free personal love readings. So if you have yet to subscribe, go ahead and do that. Um, most of you know this. Not only will you get notifications of all the daily readings that I post, but also you can take part in the monthly giveaways. So with that being said, new and returning subscribers, leave the word um, gift down below or a gift emoji in the comment section of each reading that you view of mine. And at the end of the month, I will remind all of you to check your notifications the very last weekend of each month. Check your notifications. Three people will be hearing from me. I will randomly choose those people and reach out to them. All right, let's get it. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So for some of you, a difficult upbringing, maybe not experiencing love from your parents. You know, some kind of misfortune, which makes you feel guarded. You know, do you ever really heal from something that occurs as a child or as you're younger? I feel you, you make peace with it. You move on from it. But I feel like somewhere, like, in the back of your mind, it, it still lies there. Because it's, when we're young, we put our faith and our trust in those people that are our parents, that are our, therefore, to be our leader in life. Show us how we're supposed to love. Show us how we're supposed to trust. For some of you, not all of you. Separation. So I do feel you are in separation from someone. Time apart from your partner. And let's say deception. Yeah, Aries, I feel like you feel like someone has done you wrong. Someone could have been very manipulating in their energy. Broken promises, I'm feeling. This also could be someone who does feel deeper feelings for you and just wasn't able to open up because they might have experienced crappy family issues growing up. Let's see. Balance. Yin and yang. Darkness and light. Stay centered at this moment. Yeah, there is a cycle coming to completion here. And I feel like this connection is gaining momentum. Spirit wants you to, wants you to stay centered and grounded. Are you going to be hesitant? Moving forward, you are. But I feel like you're, you're releasing any fear, any hesitation. I really feel that there is someone here who broke your trust. All right, let's see. Spirit, what is the energy that surrounds Aries during this reading? Well, good news. You're moving on to wish fulfillment. You're following your soul's desire. You may be meeting this person um, through a dating app or maybe online, maybe a Zoom meeting either between class or work. This also could be someone watching you from afar. But it's, at the, it's also the energy of you moving forward. As I stated, you following your soul's journey, yin and yang. You reclaiming balance in your life and overcoming the drama and the chaos. You are finding its wish fulfillment the person coming towards you. All right, let's see. Let's get deeper and see who this person is. For my Aries spirit. The 
kind man. So I do feel, again, separation. I feel a pause here. Six of Cups. Page of Swords. There is someone from your past that is watching you. The Star. The Nine of Cups. Aries. There is someone in deep regret. Someone who has not been able to move on from you. I do have Sagittarius energy here. Um, I also have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So far. But this person, they, they hate seeing you move on. They know they had setbacks within themselves. And they truly hate seeing you be moving on from them. I don't feel, so, for some of you, it took some time to move on. It took some time to heal. I don't feel it's as easy as this person may portray it of you moving on. And I feel at times you went to reach out to this person, but then you hesitated in that decision. A lot of soul searching here. I do. I feel someone is traveling towards you. Someone is, you know, fighting through their own burdens. I feel like this person is coming towards you realizing that you are worth the fight. Let's see. Ten of Pentacles. Six of Cups twice. Ten of Cups. Nine of Cups three times. Eight of Wands. Well, what you desire with this person is wish fulfillment. So if you desire to move on, reclaim that balance, and move towards something that's more promising, um, and you feel like it's a wish fulfillment because of all the growth that's happened within you, then so be it. But for those of you that would like a reunion, that would like a reconciliation with this person, it's happening. As I stated, there is a cycle closing out and this is gaining momentum of forward movement, of communication. Spirit, why is the Nine of Cups here three times in Aries reading? Something grounded, something stable being offered. This person is coming towards you with their cup completely over, you know, like spilling over of feelings and emotions for you. Spirit, why is the six of cups here twice? Six of cups here twice. The seven of swords there takes it back to deception. Why is deception and the seven of swords here twice? The King of Cups. They haven't been completely honest about how they feel for you. As I stated, they have a lot of feelings and emotions. I feel their feelings and emotions were all over the place at the time that you met them. They had to get centered on what they wanted. You might have thought that they were flighty, that they were very fickle. But what they're not opening up to you about is that they are watching from afar, is that they haven't completely moved on, is that that they want to make an amends with you. And Ten of Cups is complete emotional happiness here. All right, Spirit. With the Eight of Wands, what is it that they want to communicate with Aries? They're sorry they hurt you. They sorry. They're sorry that they put you at a crossroads. They're sorry that they let you down. 
They want you to know that they're leaving the troubled waters behind them so that they can coast smoother towards you with better memories ahead. They want you to know no matter the time, the travel, the distance, that they want to come towards you. All right, let's see what else. What else do you have for my airy spirit? This person showing up in their reading. There it is. Union. Agreement. Being on the same page. Possibly ending up marrying this person or engaged. Maybe even moving in with one another. And it's been some time. With stepping stone here, I feel it's like baby steps. Could be several months, maybe even a, a year or more that you've been apart. I feel a lot of spiritual growth within this person. Yeah, and there they are. They're breaking free and they're following their emotions with the stallion. You're the driving force, Aries, in their life to be better for themselves. If they were the ones, you know, dealing with these family issues, overcoming those family issues, knowing that they can trust you, I do feel that sometimes I feel a door means much more than love and I feel that this person adores you. There's the communication. Pay attention to birds. Pay attention to feathers. They're going to come towards you nervous, nervous to approach you. But they're going to come towards you and there will be communication. You have the Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment, three times in your reading. Along with the Six of Cups, twice. Technically, if you want to add the Star card to the three, of, the three Nine of Cups that showed up, this is wish fulfillment in every aspect. All right, now because it's someone returning, let me get a message from their heart and soul to you, Aries. No matter what happens, I hope we cross paths again. Your light is guiding me home. Like I said, you are that spark, that momentum in their light that keeps them going to want to be a better version of themselves. All right, we'll take them. We have soulmates. Bam, soulmates. Now is not the right time. I needed this journey to understand my feelings. So with that being said, they knew they felt you on a deep level. No doubt about it. That's why they were deceiving in what they were all... And what, like they were deceiving themselves on how much they care for you. I had to move on because I was not ready. You are the reason I smile every day. Like I said, they're watching from afar. This is how they feel connected to you. I do feel both of you are going to feel some form of hesitation. But I do feel you will overcome it. All right. We have H, I, P, N, T, another three I's. Let me see if I can get just a couple more. U, G, B. All right, take what resonates, Aries. Leave the word gift or gift emoji down below. Anytime you want me to tune into your energy to see what's coming towards you in terms of love, click on the link in the description box. It'll take you right over to my Etsy shop. Um, I have decreased my prices for now. Closing out 2024, I will be putting my shop on vacation mode throughout the month of December, but you still have some time to take advantage of the discounted prices. Love and light.